In 1972, when I was in junior high school, I remember reading this article in a science digest about this fabulous find in East Africa near Lake Turkana by Richard Leakey and his team. This skull is what they found. Richard Leakey's wife took weeks to reconstruct the cranium, which is large compared to the Australopithecine apes that are contemporary with it, or were supposedly contemporary with it. But it, it caused a great sensation and controversy because it was dated at 2.6 million years old, and yet it has a relatively flat face. The cranium is large, 800 cubic centimeters in brain size. Modern man ranges from like 800 cubic centimeters up to over 2,000 cubic centimeters. Apes are usually around 500. So you see it was different than the Australopithecine ape-like ancestors that lived about the same time. Now, as time went on, the skull has changed, where the face has gradually gotten more ape-like, like you see here. This is the newest reconstruction based on the best evidences. It has a very ape-like face. It went from this to this. Now this is skull ER 1470. And it appears that Richard Leakey was biased somewhat in his reconstructing of the skull and placing the, the face rather flat. Because see, he and his father, Lewis, they believe that the genus Homo went way back. But over time, the skull has gradually changed. And this is the kind of evolution that you see. It's in the mind of the scientists that are doing the reconstructions. <coughs> Not only this, the brain capacity has gone from 800 cubic centimeters down to 526 cubic centimeters. I mean, that's quite a change. I mean, that'd be like estimating my height at 8 feet and then later changing it to 5 feet 11. I mean, how can you trust such things? Now, this skull actually never really was very human-like. If if generally speaking, in the charts, I'll show it from the side view or the front view or both. But if you look at it from the top down or from the back, it's quite ape-like. Now, one of my older books, let's see, The Bone Peddlers by Arthur Fix. This is an old book now. But he shows a diagram of the skulls from the top view. On the right you have Homo sapiens, on the left you have ER 1470. It's very, it's very ape-like and brutal. It's got a post-orbital constriction that's uh, quite severe. <coughs> but anyways, the reason why I like to point this out is because this very skull, ER 1470, usually classified as a Homo habilis now, is usually placed right in the middle of the charts, right between the ape-like forms and people. But as you can see, the reconstructions are not to be trusted. They're variable, and there's evidence of bias. So this is something to keep in mind. Always look at this stuff with an open mind and with critical thought and reason. But thank you.